We are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Oh, right. that too, Greg. Are you mad? <laughs> oh, man. Behave before you talk about what I'm talking about. Yeah. We are live, as I'm saying. Mr. Blitztech. Revenue GS. J1 Further the Cyber Nerds. And it's that time of the week when we get slapped up with more discussion. Today we have June 2. June Part 2. Directed by none other than Denny Villanueva. With the cast of Timothy Chalamet, Zandaya, Austin Butler, Florence Pugh, Rebecca Ferguson, Christopher Walker, Leah Sidhu. And many more people we went to the event, went to the premiere. It was lit. What are you man saying about Dune Part 2? I honestly didn't know what to expect from Dune Part 2, but I was thoroughly surprised by what I got from Dune Part 2. It's just, it's just legit, man. Super good action sequences, super good set pieces, super good acting. The cast is legit. And just... Everything in general was just on another level, another planet, if I would say so myself. The, the, the movie is just, <laughs> it's a must-see, if I must say so. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, it's interesting because obviously, like, watch part one, didn't really love it, but, like, it's got lots of good things in it. It's good cast, crew, director. Like, it's got all the makings of something great, and I feel like it, with the second one, they made something great. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, And it's, like, it's tough because... When, like, you can see the through line between one and two and you can see how, for me, like, after watching number two, it makes number one not better, yeah? It just makes it a complete story when you're going from one to two, which, by default, makes the story overall better. So I feel like this is going to be one of the best screening, like, back-to-back -back screenings of films almost ever. I feel like that's going to get overlooked in a situation, like, of a two-parter that you put together, this is going to be one of the best. And I also think this is going to be up there with, like, one of the best sequels ever as well because, like, it dwarfs what it does in the first movie. And what it does in the first movie is good. Cinematography is good. Acting is good. Choreography is good. Do you know what I'm saying? Sound design. Everything's perfect. Everything's great. Great. But, like, in this one, like, it's just all turned up to a thousand. Like, everything's better, bruv. Like, they don't... Like, they don't... Like, they don't take a step back in any shape, form, or fashion, bruv. Like, and it's, like, the first time in a long time I've watched, like, the sequel of a movie and really felt, like, I cannot wait for the next one to, like, overwhelmingly <laughs> excited from, like, how they pushed the bar in this one to the next one. And it's, like, best sci-fi movie man's watched in time, bro. Like, in years, bro. Like, in years, bruv, like, it's really got, like... If Star Wars was on steroids, <laughs> it would be Dune 2. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about in terms of the Star Wars that we've been getting, like... This is, like, real sci-fi war... Like, man really just was like, yo, wherever the bar was at, if there was even a bar <laughs> or a category, and pretty much, pretty much placed himself in it. Right. Boom. Like this. And... Bruv. Bruv, Denny's probably the only director that could have done it, bruv. And that's not even no disrespect to any other directors, bruv. But, like, yeah, I don't think there's anyone handling sci-fi the way you handle sci-fi, mm -hmm. like, at all, period, across the board. Oh, so he's been shelling, bruv. He's been shelling. And then Greg Frazier as well. The reason, bruv, man, you don't know, get to name in cinematographers, yeah? <laughs> but Greg Frazier's a demon, bro. And he's been a demon for time. <laughs> And in this, he was like, have all of my demon energy, bro. Like, he goes nuts, bro. They've got six scenes that they just escalate over and over again. Like, you see a scene and you're like, this scene can't get no better than this. Then 10 <laughs> minutes later, boom, boom, boom on your dome, bro. It is nasty what they do in this movie, like. So, yeah, I enjoyed Dune 2, innit? You get me? I had a bit of a good time there. That's not even talking about cast and crew and all them, man. Get me? But hard. Oh, bro. Bro, 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 bro. Uh, just to pick up weight, one of the things that you mentioned, uh, part one and part two, one of my um, things that I really wanted was like part two to make part one better. Obviously, you mentioned like, yo, it makes the story complete. It absolutely freaking does. And like, much like you were saying, like you didn't expect, like you didn't know what to expect going in. Man, mind's freaking blown with this movie. Do you know what I'm saying? Like the sound, 
um, design on this thing is super crazy. You're talking about um, the cinematography, bro. Two scenes later, I am still going through the emotions of what I've just seen in this movie. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's one bit, uh, like, the first time he's riding the thing, and my heart is just going because the way they've just shot the thing, and then, like, with the sound design, it's like, it's so crazy with this movie, and I'm really, really happy with this. Um, going with cast, man, um, Austin Butler came through shelling in this movie. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like his character is one of those that just like, he's just demeanor just coming through and his character and the, the way this whole relationship works with some of the characters, it's perfect as well. And June 2, you lot, you need to watch it. And if you can, do catch it on IMAX. It's actually mad this whole Oslin Butler situation because like, I think he's hard in the movie, get me? But I definitely feel like, spoilers! Spoilers, <clears throat> spoilers, <clears throat> spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, listen, for anyone who's complaining about spoilers or past this point, you're actually crazy. Because usually, <laughs> man, clap these brothers up, but the movie's so good. We have to give it a real intro first. You feel me? But Austin P Butler's character gets killed. I feel like for how good Austin Butler is and is going to be over the next 10 years, mm. it's almost a waste. Do you know what I'm saying? But in terms of his performance, his performance is great. You get me? So, like... I would love to have seen the evolution of that character oh, more, okay. but I understand what the decision they made in the movie, even though I think there's other decisions that could have been made mm. um, for that. For me, the standout is really Zendaya, like, because I feel like what they've done here is made these two movies, these films about her character, actually, ultimately. Like, I feel like the complete connection of one and two is more of her story, which only sets up even though Tim Timothy is the main character, Paul is the main character, I feel like his story only begins at the end of this, which was really her story, which I think is super tough in a way that they've done it, where it never feels like that. Where someone's going to be in the comments and be like, oh, I never felt like that at all. I understand. I understand. And I understand that you don't understand what you just watched. Like, and this is why I keep going back to Denny and whoever, I think Denny wrote the screenplay as well, exactly. So... Like, that there, that level of this, mm, mm, I haven't mm. seen since the Russo brothers in the Marvel MCU. And then he's doing it off two films, not 11 films, which is also sick, bruv. Like, like he, he weaved this story in, like, <clears> so well without, like, force-feeding you this mm. character as well, bruv. So it's like, it's like so, I don't know, <clears> it's, so, it's done so delicately that, like, it's just masterful, bruv. So... I think that's hard. Obviously, I love uh, Timothy as well, but I feel like I don't want to. I'm not talking about him for this movie, but mm. like one concern I've got is that like he grows up in this movie. I need him to really grow up in real life time between the second one and the third one. That's not a degrading on his acting, but it's much how I feel about the Austin Butler situation as well. Like Timothy is gonna be so like listen, for, Timothy's sick now. In five years, if he stays on the trajectory he's on, he's going to be even sicker, bro. It's okay if the next Dune movie doesn't come out for seven years, bro. It's okay if it's 10. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, because it's, bruv, where you've got us right now, bro, <laughs> it's like a fine, like it's potential to be a fine wine. Do you know what I'm saying? But if you drink it too early, bro, <laughs> I don't know what's going to be in the bottle, fam. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So, like... They're just in a perfect situation. Like, bruv, I've just gasped about how fire the movie is, bruv. You see, you see, with Austin Butler's character coming to an end, I felt like it was similar to Paul's dad as well, like in the first movie, where it's just kind of like, it just gives more to Paul's character. I hear you, but like, a dad dying and like, like, <sighs> I'm not weighing these. I'm not weighing the death of his dad mm. and him getting his first body the same. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm me me personally, I'm not. If you man do, then you're cool with it. I'm not cool, like, with it. Like, it's, well, that's not it for me. Like, and like I said, I think that there's so much more. Like, I've not read the books, you man. 
Or they said, don't start book lawing me in the comments, bruv. <laughs> All I'm saying is for the narrative that I watched and I experienced mm. and for the actor. So this is half in the story and half real life because if Austin Butler was a different actor, I might not have this, this view on it. Mm. But because it is him and I know what he can do and I know where he's probably going to go in the next five years, just having that would have been nasty to come back and play with. Not to say that it can't be because I also don't know June Law like... I don't know when a man's dead, there's a man dead or he can come back. You get me? Aye. But I'm like, but hard. You get me? And it's, it's funny because we just watched Four Love and Thunder the other day, bro. Like, do you know what I'm saying? And when I say the other day, I mean when it came out in cinemas because no one's watching that trash again. You get me? So, and in that, I feel like they did the weakest beta version of what they did with Christian Bell, with what they tried to do here in Dune mm. with Austin Butler. And like... Just look at these two things, bro. Just look at them. Like they should have given my man more life, and that just stays where it is. Do you get me? That's <laughs> that's how I feel about it, man. But Austin Butler's hard, bro. Super, but, super, get me. Super. What are you saying about your characters? Yeah, Timothy. I would say uh, Timothy. To be honest, because just watching the first one, <clears throat> him even being the main character, didn't really believe him. To be honest, like he just feels like he's been carried through this whole situation. His dad is saying you need to do this. As he is. Has, huh? As he is. I'm yeah. with As he is. Yeah, so is. his dad's carrying through this. Obviously, he's trying to have him with his dad and his whole uh, empire. And his mom's trying to carry him through that. And I'm like, bro, is this meant to be a uh, like, protagonist? Like, who is this guy? <laughs> and suddenly, number two, I think that like, everyone's been saying this guy, like, leaped to where he is now. And I feel like this isn't the same person we got in number one. Mm-hmm. Not only through, like, obviously, Timothy, don't know what he's been doing in whether his trailer is or whatever, but also the character as well as Paul, where man knows he has to step up. Man knows he has to do these things. And even just, like, not longer questioning himself, but know, like knowing what he has to do. And like, like I said, what Jay was saying as well, watching number one and having the through line of then watching this, like, it makes, like, everything so much more sense. And that's why I feel like I read it much more because, like, I wouldn't believe it's the same guy. And I, but I believe the character development is, like, Totally yeah, there yeah, as well. Yeah. It's like the way they've done that, super sick. Even even to that, I know one of my one of my negatives for the movie was that I felt like there were scenes and obviously that like, this thing is what, like two forty five or something like that, one hundred and sixty five minutes. Like I was screaming like this should have been three hours, bruv. And I don't care what you might think, oh three hours is too long or three hours is too like it should have been three hours because I feel like there's fifteen, twenty minutes of there, like of even more character development that we could have got with Timothy mm. that would have nailed it home bruv like really like they got it they got it but they could have nailed it home and this is even what plays into more when I'm like I feel like those 15 minutes make it Zendaya's movie bro do you know what I'm saying like if those movie 15 minutes were in of personal pool development mm. it would have made it his but them not being there really makes it hers bro like bruv they, like I love it bruv because it's like I feel like this is almost one of the first times I've watched a Double bill and the main actor and you know I I feel like they're both. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Neck and neck. I feel like do you see the lack of Paul in the first one is great, bro. Because like he's a you, he's mm. a boy. Mm. He's getting drug around by his dad and his commander and the people trying to train him. And in the next one, it's like I'm devoid of these things and I'm and I'm finding the path. Do you know what I'm saying? And through the movie. He's back and forth on whether, like, not even what's true on just how he should approach the truth. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That is that is <laughs> sick, bro. Like, there, there's so many levels to this thing, like, that are hard. And we ain't even getting off the, the main three, bro. Like The, the whole thing with, with Zendaya is that, like, from the first movie and having the visuals, you think, like, bro, these two are going to become, like, almost like that royal couple that's going to take on the empire. And the way they just flip it because of Paul's journey, like, it's, it's so good. And you can see it, like, that's when it's, like, the growth for Paul as well. Because like, I'm like, yo, because even on the first one, we start with her narrating the thing, talking about the the way her planet looks. And then if the full circle that comes to the, to the last shot where Paul is fighting um, uh, Austin Butler... And you're just like, and then she dips. 
Yeah. That's not even the last shots of her face staring out over the dune sea. And, and, it's, start, well, and yeah. it's starting with her voiceover. Mm. Is what like why I'm like, is Zen this thing is a this part of the story, mm. part one and two. I don't know if that's one book in the novels, because it's because if it was one book, it would make sense to be one book because it starts with her and ends with her, bruv. Mm-hmm. Like his growth happens within her story, bruv. And this is why I'm like, it doesn't feel like a where they flip it on your head. I think the only thing that gets flipped on your head is basic Hollywood stories. Basic. Because it's yeah, basically yeah, yeah. in the basic yeah. stuff, yeah. they've got to be together and blah, and also yeah. all this nonsense, bruv. But in this, they show you that Paul's path to succession or even path to the his potential <laughs> is not with this chick. You get me? And that's fine. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I think they depict it perfectly. Like, every, bruv, I've just never been more pleased. Like, I was just pleased, bro. I was just happy. And even since coming out of the film and just thinking about it, it's making me feel even better and better and better. Like, it just, bro, it's, this thing's growing in my mind every day. This thing is hard, brother. <laughs> it's definitely, hard. It's definitely a made man a fan of it. Uh, another character that I feel like mentioning because, like, throughout the whole movie, just kept giving man life, Javier Belden as the steel guard. This guy was doing bits. True believer in this thing, man. I mean, Javier Bardem was cool. Yeah, he get me. I thought he was like the life and soul of the thing. Like he brought bare humor into it. Like when, like I didn't really think it was suit like funny. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? But the humor was always. Do you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The humor was there, and the humor was always hitting as well. I also thought um, Josh Brolin was hard as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I thought Josh Brolin just came through with that grizzled energy, war general energy that, you know, Thanos usually brings. So I thought that was tough still, you get me? I know Rebecca Ferguson as well. Come on. Like, bro! Huh? Like, she went crazy. Yeah, she <laughs> did you know? She went she legit went nuts. Like, stupid. Uh, what she was doing with you, I was like, I was not expecting her, like, journey as well as, like, with the whole mother situation, her taking on all the generations of all the... Come on. The team that's like... Come on. She's with you nuts, but, like, that whole family... All, all the revelations I was like you know what this makes sense among these these guys so see do you know what go. that's what, even one of the things that like I love about Denny's whole situation as well and him doing the screenplay and it, it, it takes me back to like Prisoners and all the other movies he does with like the twists and the turns like Dune because of how big the sci-fi action and all of this is and even the performances all the twists and turns and all of that might get lost on people do you get what I'm saying because mm. it's like bruv there's actually so, like he layered this thing with every like there's something in there for everything i've heard people talk about oh it's not like a family friendly movie i hear what you're saying in terms of it doesn't have that family friendly appeal that star wars has in terms of looking at the rapper of it mm-hmm. do you know what i'm saying light swords and red and blue and dark and light it's a lot darker than that but there's legitly here stuff for everyone bruv do you know like every member of the family bruv top to bottom bruv there's something in there for them, like, and that's one that, like, bro. I don't think stuff like this gets overlooked in terms of like film these days, and and what you should be taking away from it. Like, then he collapsed this, collapsed this thing, <laughs> crazy, bro. I'm just interested, and if Doom Two can survive the gauntlet that is 2024, and are we still going to be talking about it this time next year? You know what I'm saying? In the lead up to Oscars, bro. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because that's a marathon, bro. Mm. That is a marathon to do, but. Dune 2, especially in IMAX, if it's going to carry something where... Like, you know what I'm saying? If someone's going to do it, it's, it's got to be this, bro. Oh, uh, you know what? I nuts. was almost forgetting as well. The choreography in this thing is absolutely nuts. And the camera work that goes with it, spectacular, man. But so much things got, like, improved in so this much. movie. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, the, when you're talking about the choreography, it was like, there's so many action set pieces, like, you know what I'm saying? Where they're doing combat and stuff that I thought it was so much better than the first movie. Not that the first movie was bad. And this is the thing. It's like, it's almost like he paced himself mm. in the first movie and in the second movie. And it's like, even if at this pacing, the next movie is going to be nuts. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, I think about, you know, Lord of the Rings and the escalation and how they built up to the, to the wars. And I'm like, the stuff we see in this, if we're just getting... Better f- with the next, like, bruv, mind <laughs> finished, bro. Like, everything exploded. Yeah, and knowing Crazy. where he's going to go to, can't wait for it, man. Crazy.
What are you man saying about your ratings for this movie? My rating for Dune? I'm giving Dune a five, bro. Ooh. Like, uh, Dune is the best sci-fi movie I've watched in a very long time. I just don't see issues with it. It made the movie that came out before it way better. It's given me a... It's taken me from zero to 100 in terms of expectations for the next film in terms of what it's done for me in terms of the IP, an IP that had 30 years of history before and a novel that I had would never dived into or research. And this is one of the things. When Dune came out, people were like, yo, go watch the old movie, go read the books. It's like Star Wars. And because of how I feel about Star Wars, I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to watch what is being presented for me in this right now and see if I like it. Do you know what I'm saying? And then go. And I would say, Dune 2 is now like my gateway into Dune. Like I can say, yeah, nah, do I saw Dune 2, I thought it was sick. And that made me want to go and do these things as opposed to just being directed to do them. So yeah, man, I'm giving Dunes a five, bruv. It's hard for me to think of a reason how this isn't like the perfect sci-fi epic movie, bro. So five, boom. It's a blessed deck. Uh, I would say 4.5. Um, action is sick, especially the I think the sequence when he Paul finally goes on the worm. I, I don't know how anyone's going to beat that, to be honest. Especially, they said it <laughs> took three months to do a whole sequence. I've never seen anyone trying to ride sand and feel like he's actually riding a worm. And the shots in that like was legitly crazy. So, good luck trying to top that. Um, actors are super legit. Just for me, like for like, I'm not really a fan of long movies, so you like you really have to do the pacing quite well. And there was, I feel like there's a, a few bits in here where I feel like the pacing, especially towards the latter end of the movie, just was a bit off. But then it picks up again. But uh, yeah, for me, I would say it's a solid four point five, man, for sure. For me, it's a four point five with an asterisk because I want to watch it again and see because I like at the moment I didn't want to like I didn't want to be taken by the moment. Do you know what I'm saying? Even though that. This movie blew me out of the bloody planet. Do you know what I mean? Like, the sound score on this is mad. Characters, choreography, I kept going nuts. Um, the, what did you call it? Riding the... Um, oh, the sandworm. The sandworm. Sick. Story. Um, Paul's journey. Everything is super sick. I also downloaded the first book, which says a lot. But I just want to watch again just to make sure... Everything I saw was just what everything I saw in it because off the, uh, the first one, I was like, bro, it feels very empty. But then the way we just escalate on everything in this movie, mind freaking blown. And I will not be surprised by the time I watch it for the second time, which is not too long to go. This might become one of my all time favorite sci-fis. That's how great it was, isn't it? But guys, do jump in the comment section below. Let us know your thoughts. On June, have you read the books? Have you watched part one? Have you watched part two? Are you going to watch part one of the back of part two? Let us know your thoughts and we shall see you next time. I'm Raven GS. Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. J1 further the cyber nerds. Peace.